Hello and welcome to another tutorial series by Photo Solutions Market and Spotlight Photographics. My name is Sean DeMint and I'm going to be walking you through the new Memory Mate series, specifically the Volume 1 collection. Our new Memory Mate series uh, is available in multiple designs. They're drag and drop templates, uh, floating frames, meaning that you can move the frames around, and they're multi-layered, which means that you are going to be able to change colors, uh, edit the designs, and you're also going to get them in both vertical and horizontal layouts. When you buy one design, you get both layouts. So we're going to get started. Um, when you're on the website for photosolutionsmarket.com, you're going to be looking for this uh, graphic template set. If you're buying them as a set, obviously you're getting a better deal when you buy them as a collection rather than individually. But you can buy each one of these templates in this tutorial as a collection or as individually. So this is the Volume 1 set, and you will notice if you're familiar with Spotlight's templates that these do match the Game Day Series Volume 1 collections so that you can add these to your uh, template collection to give all of your customers a variety of different templates to choose from that all have the same themes. So if you're doing game day banners, extreme teams, panoramics, you can now also use this for your team and individual photos as well. These templates are primarily used for in-house use only and cannot be given to your lab uh, to have them do your production for you. So please uh, note that these are not to supply to labs. Uh, that is one thing that we uh, strive to do at Photo Solutions Market to prevent other companies uh, other than your own that have purchased the templates from having the ability to just use the templates. Uh, so that's why you won't see these at uh, any other lab um, because it is a restriction. So let's get into this and we're going to show you uh, both the vertical and horizontals first. Uh, we've got the horizontal breakout uh, and you'll see that you also can get this is the vertical version as well. And you do get both on every design. I'm only going to be showing the verticals to show you how they all work. Uh, but when you buy one, if you buy these individually, you get both the vertical and the horizontal template. So we're going to get started here uh, using the breaker. And we're going to go through and change the colors because that is the most uh, asked question is how do I change the colors on this template. So I'm going to show you all 10. Uh, so if you haven't seen the one that you want yet for volume one, uh, it will be coming in this tutorial. So just bear with me. Uh, so we're going to start with the breaker. Uh, the three things that you look for in any uh, spotlight template to change colors are either a color overlay, a uh, gradient overlay, or also a adjustment layer. Uh, you also may have shapes that have colors, so those would also be a shape color change. So technically there's four, but the big three are going to be color overlays, gradient overlays, or adjustment layers. So what we do is we start from the bottom of the template and work our way up. So if we're going to change this over to green, uh, we're going to look at our color overlay for the background color right here. Double click on the word color overlay and that's going to open up your layer style property. Now what we're going to do is click on the color here and we will select our green color. Now one thing I'm going to do is go ahead and copy this color green that we have. Now if you already have a hex color code, uh, you can always type that in. Uh, which is going to give you a more true color to the color that you're looking for. Uh, but in this case, for speed, I'm just going to go ahead and select a color and uh, we're going to copy that color here. So we can use that on other ones going forward. So we'll hit OK and hit OK and you can see that's changed this one background to green. The breaker is very simple. There's one color change. It's all you have to worry about. So on this template, I'm going to show you one other feature of our Memory Mate series. And that is going to be this logo. If you haven't seen this yet, this logo is actually on every on every single template, but you can change what it says and also what the color is. To do this, we're going to go ahead and just select this sports logo and double click on the icon of it right here. That is going to go ahead and open up that logo in another window, and we've already put it on a canvas. So what we want to do is change this, but keep it inside of this canvas so that when it goes back onto the template, it's going to fit exactly the way it needs to so that it doesn't run off the page. So the first thing we can do is change the colors. We'll come down here to the bottom. We see our gradient overlay, as we mentioned before. Double click on that, and that's going to pull up our gradient overlay layer style. We click on the color here, and then we can choose all three of these colors. We can change them all if we want, or we can just change the center color as it was designed. Double click, and then we paste our green. Hit OK, hit OK, and hit OK. That's changed our background to green. So now we're going to come up here to the next one, which is the word sports. We also have a gradient overlay there. We'll do the same thing, clicking on the color and pasting green and hitting OK. 
okay out. The next one is the word Little League. The word Little League is just a character color, so we'll go over to our character palette. If you do not have this open, you can always come up to the window and click on character and that will open up that palette. So now we're going to come over, click on the color just like we did before, and paste our green. So now we have that switched over to green. Now the biggest question is, is can I change the words? Of course you can. It's simple text. So all we have to do is come over to our text tool and then we can highlight and change any of the words that we want. So if we wanted this to be a specific sport, instead of the word sports, we can just say soccer. And then make sure it fits in this, in this uh, area. If it was to say the word baseball, that obviously does not fit. So we'll apply it and then do a free transform and just drag it back in so that it fits. And then hit apply. We can also change the word Little League to uh, say anything else. We can say uh, All-Star Baseball League sounds good. Uh, but if, say, for example, this was uh, not a Little League, just a League, we can just type the word League. And then we can center that up into that spot. We can also change the word All-Star by just selecting it. So we can say it was First Coast. Apply that. Do the same thing with the Transform and just shrink this into that spot. The, the year down here also is changed. So say, for example, you're getting ready for next year. You can go ahead and put 16 right there. Apply that. And then to save these changes and make sure it goes back onto the template, we just hit, we just close this layer and hit yes to saving the changes. This will go ahead and change all of the things that we just did and pop it right back onto the template uh, that we opened this from. It's not going to change it on any template that you have open. It's only going to change it on the template that we actually opened this logo off of. So now it's updating a smart object, which is what this was called, which is a smart object. And you'll see it change right there. So now it's good to go. Now you also can move this around. You can change its size. Uh, you could put it anywhere you want on the template. You could even remove it so you have your own logo. Just turn it off. Put your own logo right there. The other thing you can do on every one of these templates is actually change the color of the frames. So we just select our frame and we can go to the color overlay and we can change it from black. And we'll say we wanted to make it the green color. Paste our green color in. There we go. Select the other frame. Do the same color overlay. Change it to green. And now we have a unique template. Now before we move into the other templates, I'm going to show you a couple other things. Uh, one other thing that we can do is uh, we can also remove frames. So if we select our photo mask and the frame above it, we can just turn those frames off. And now you can just drag and drop an extracted image in if you would like. You can do that on the team photo down here as well. So you can actually make this an extraction memory mate rather than a drop in memory mate. Because those are not holes cut out, they're actually just floating frames. The other thing you can do is if you wanted to make multiple frames, say for example you didn't want to do a team photo, we could just go ahead and remove, turn these frames off at the bottom, and we could select our other frame, and then we could just by holding down the Alt key, we can click and drag a copy, and we can do a transform and rotate, and then we can copy it once again. Maybe make this one a little bit bigger. And now we have a small composite. So you have a lot of freedom with these templates to make them how you want. They're not just specifically memory mates. You can actually turn these into drop-in composites as well. So let's move on to the next template. And that is going to be the Buccaneer. This one has a couple more color changes on it. Uh, we'll start at the bottom. Always start at the bottom and work your way up. Color overlay right there. We see it. We click on it. It says it's white. Now we're probably going to want to leave that there. If I have something set at white, there's probably a reason for it so that it comes through. We're looking for the blue color. So we're just going to continue on. Forget that one. Go to this one. It's blue. All right. Well, that's the one we want to change over to red. Okay. Go ahead and copy that color code so we have it. And then we'll work our way up. We have color overlay again. White. Now, obviously, I'm looking at this and I'm seeing there's no other colors. So I can continue going up or I can stop. But you can see that everything else is white, so we're good to go. So the next thing we can do is change our logo over again like we did before, but I'm not going to show you that. But I am going to show you one thing, is how to drag in your images. 
we're going to go ahead and select our photo mask and we're going to drag and drop into Photoshop from our computer the image that we'd like to put in that frame. Go ahead and size it the way we'd like. Apply that. And then all we have to do is right click over here and say create clipping mask and there we go. Same thing on the bottom one. Go ahead and drag our team photo in. And let's go ahead and center that up. Apply and create our clipping mask. Now the other trick is holding down the alt key between the two layers will pull up this new uh, mouse icon. Once that pops up all we have to do is click and there it goes inside the thing. So that's the other way to do it. So that is how we convert that over. Now I'm a little paranoid. I don't like the fact that the red background is there and I've got a purple jersey. So let's go ahead and go down and change that uh, color burst over to purple. I'm just going to click on our color and say OK. There we go. She's ready to go. Change that logo out. Pop your own logo in, whatever you'd like to do. This is ready to go to print either on your own local printer or at your lab. So let's move over to the next one. The next one in the series is Burn. This one is probably not one that you're going to change color codes on. So this one's probably one very simple. All you have to do is drag and drop your, your images in there and you're ready to go. Change the logo if it needs to be. Next one in the series of Volume 1 is the Honeycomb. This one is also got color changing and we'll go through that. The bottom one here is a shape. Now we haven't shown you a shape yet, uh, but to change shape colors, we just double click on the icon. You can see that it has a little uh, thumbnail here in the bottom corner so we know it's a shape. Double click on that, it pops up our color picker, and we'll go ahead and switch this one over to blue. Find our blue color, go ahead and copy that color. Remember to keep copying your colors so that you use them the same. And we'll go up, find another one. We see another shape that's red. Double click on that shape go ahead and paste our blue color in and that's it that one's ready to go in blue that's the honeycomb all right we're gonna go over to metal again starting at the bottom we're going to go ahead and change our color overlay here and we'll change this one over to green okay go ahead and copy our green color code and let's keep working our way up. We have another color overlay for the center stripe here. It's also purple, so we know we want to change that purple to green. And that's it. We've changed it over to green. So that's the metal template. Smoke screen. We're going to do this one now, starting at the bottom. Color changing. We've got a color overlay for the background here. We'll change this one over to blue. Copy our color code just in case we need it again. Doesn't look like we do. That's the only one we have to change on this template besides changing the color of the, of the logo here. Alright, we'll go ahead and go to the next one which is Spirit. Starting at the bottom, this one has a color overlay on the color change stars layer. It is white, so our rule is, is we're going to leave that there because we're only looking for red. We'll go to the next color overlay. It's red. Let's change this one over to that same blue color we did just a second ago because I still have it in my clipboard. And we'll work our way up to the next color overlay, changing that one to red. I'm sorry, changing it to blue from red. And now we're done. Change the color of the logo here, type the names, drop your pictures in, ready to go to print. Moving on to steel plate. This one doesn't have a whole lot of color changes in it. Um, it's really meant to be pretty much very simple. Uh, we have a background main color here. Double click on the color overlay. It's orange right now. Let's go ahead and just match this blue here. We'll color pick. Hit OK on both windows. There we go. We're ready to go with that one. Alright, let's move over to Superstar. Superstar, we'll start at the bottom. We see a color overlay on the, on the background. And we'll change this one over to, uh, we'll do green on this one. Color code, copy that. Keep going up, we see another color overlay here, which is blue, so we know we want to change that to our green color. Keep working our way up, we have another color overlay. And 
and we're all set. That's all we got to do on this one. And the last one is vapor. This is our basketball template uh, from volume one. We'll go down here at the bottom and we have our last one which is a hue and saturation layer adjustment. So on this one we will double click right here. It's going to bring up our hue and saturation lines and we can just simply drag this to the color that we want and it's going to change those light bursts right down here in the middle. So we want to change it to red. Just keep dragging across till you'll have the color that you want. Very simple, not a whole lot to change on this template. It's ready to go. So again, my name is Sean with Photo Solutions Market and Spotlight Photographics. You can always reach me by calling the office at 904-398-4355. And you can also reach me by email by just clicking on the Help tab on PhotoSolutionsMarket.com and clicking on Contact Us. I'm in the office Monday through Friday, typically 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, closed Saturdays and Sundays. Thanks again for coming by for another tutorial video on the Memory Mate series. This was Volume 1. Have a great day.